competitor, and I think he's going to relish playing in New York. Yep. He has said it all throughout this process leading up to the draft that he wanted this. He wanted the big stage of New York. He's not afraid of the spotlight. And here's Adam Silver to announce it. With the third pick in the 2019 NBA draft, the New York Knicks select R.J. Barrett from Toronto and Duke University. That's no Porzingis reaction from the Kraft <laughs> kids. No crying today. This is who they wanted. Number one player ranked going into his freshman year at Duke. Led the ACC in scoring. Had one of the great seasons in recent college basketball history in terms of scoring 860 points in his freshman year. At his fifth among freshmen all time in Division I history. You know, he really enjoyed the entire process at Duke. Said everybody needs that year of college to play Fortnite and go to Waffle House in the wee hours every time. <laughs> well, he's got an NBA body right now. He's 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, with a 6'10 wingspan. Excellent in transition. Reminds you of James Harden with the way he gets to the rim. Very versatile. Uh, you mentioned he led the ACC in scoring with Zion Williamson on his team. But also, he was in the top 10 in the ACC in rebounding and also assists and his rebounding is really good on the defensive end especially but get offensive rebounds he can rip and run take it the other way he's got point guard skills but his ability in transition and also to get to the free throw line shoots a ton of free throws but in the open court hardenesque and he's got a terrific handle he can take contact and finish through it he works hard he competes and what I really like about it is he expects to be great. His shooting needs refinement. Only shoots 31% from three and not a great free throw shooter. But I think he'll get that with work, John C. Jay, my comp for him was the Chicago Bulls. That's right, the Chicago Bulls' Jalen Rose, who was a relentless scorer, averaged 22 points a game. I think RJ is going to be a scorer in this league. He can get it done. He's a two-way player. But Jalen Rose is a guy that played a lot of different places. But in Chicago, he was a bucket getter. You know, and RJ can be that. We've seen he can score. And to Jay's point about refining that shot a little bit, he's been working very hard with the trainer, Drew Hanlon. They've made some tweaks. They've moved his offhand a little bit. They've adjusted his shooting pockets. They hope that'll give him a little bit better vision. And now you see something we've alluded to a few times. Teammates selected in the top three, Zion Williamson and RJ Barrett, join this illustrious list, the second pair of Duke teammates to go in the top three. And look at Zion, that's his old roommate getting picked third overall. So Zion and RJ now have their future NBA homes and RJ Barrett is with Maria Taylor. <laughs> and he just got to see his former teammate cheering for him. But RJ, you already have a jersey. You heard all the Knicks fans in here chanting your name, so they're ready for you. Tell me why you're ready to be a Nick. I'm just, I've given this this game all I got for a long time, and I'm just ready for this. And I want to embrace the city and embrace the team and everything, so I'm ready to go. Yeah, you said that you were built for this, yeah. and you wrote down at 12 all the goals that you had on a whiteboard. How have you made it to this moment? It's about working every day. You know, my, my parents, they... It took a lot of time out to, to make sure I was okay and make and make sure I'm good. So just by really working hard. And the Maple Mamba is what they're getting. That's the nickname. It's actually written inside of this jacket. Tell them what that means. It just means, um, you know, just representing Canada and, um, and my Kobe mentality, just that competitive mentality. So, you know, everything all together to get the Maple Mamba. I saw you getting a little emotional when you saw Dad start to walk up here. Uh, Dad, what does it mean to be in this moment? Because he told you when he was 12, this is the stage that he wanted to stand oh, I'm on. Excited for him. Uh, you know, your your children make goals, and they go out and achieve them. You have to be proud. Very proud. I'm proud of you, son. Tell me what you want every Nick fan to know about your son. Uh, my son is going to give everything he has on the court. Um, he's a competitor. He plays to win all the time, every time. He's going to work in the offseason. He's going to get bigger. He's going to get stronger. He's going to get more skilled. And uh, uh, we're just scratching the surface of, of who he's going to be. 
and hopefully who he'll be for New York. All right, well, we'll be watching the journey. Congratulations, RJ. Congratulations, Rowan. Thank you. Reese. Maria Rowan was a good player himself. Played at St. John's here.